Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be the first in a multi part series of me organizing and decorating my home office library in my new house. I have so many really fun plans for this room in terms of like decorating and designing and how like the overall vision of how I want it to look. And I'm so excited to go on this journey and make my absolute dream dark academia, vintage looking library. But for now, in this first episode, I'm going to be going through my bookshelves and actually organizing all of the books. I did unpack them, but they're not organized at all. And I've also done absolutely nothing to like decorate this room. It's very like bare bones. I kind of have just put things in random places. So there's still a bunch of projects that I'm wanting to do with this room that I'm waiting for things to come in. And I'm kind of just gonna be doing it one step at a time. If you would like to see me organizing this bookshelf behind me and kind of going through all of the books that I have and getting my desk office area set up, keep watching this video. And I'm just so excited to start working on this room and see how it ends up turning out. And hopefully my vision can come to life. So when you walk in, you have my main bookshelf that I think looks so, so good right here. It's the perfect size for this wall. We have my reading chair, which I don't think is gonna be permanently here because I am getting a rocking chair that I think will go probably in this area instead. And then this chair, I'll, I'll move somewhere else. We have my mirror where I take all my outfit selfies. <laughs> This uh, beautiful floor lamp that I'm obsessed with that I got from my parents. Huge window, which I'm not really sure what I'm going to put in front of it. This right here is a big circle mirror that I'm going to hang up in the hallway. Then we have my desk, which I love. This room is so big. Like, you can see how much space there is in here. I finally was able to put my desk in the middle of the room and not up against a wall. And I feel like it looks so good. And when I'm sitting here... My view is my bookshelf and it, look, it just looks so nice while I'm working to be able to look up and see all of my books. This is the view from my desk. So as I'm like sitting here working, usually my laptop is right here, but as I'm sitting here working, this is my view and it is so nice. I used to have my desk in front of this window. So when I was working, I was looking out into the backyard, which was also nice, but I don't know, something about sitting here looking at my bookshelves just makes me so much more productive and less distracted. I kept getting distracted by things that I would see outside. When I'm sitting here working, I'm gonna keep pretending that I'm working. I feel like I'm like an important business person in my study doing important things. <laughs> Over here is just kind of like overflow stuff because I am eventually getting another bookshelf here. I'm gonna get another one of these shelves and it'll fit perfectly there. So for now, we just have this little side table with some of my like recent purchases and current reads and library books. And then that box is stuff that I need to unpack. Loki's bed sits behind me, so while I'm working at my desk, he can sit with me. And then this shelf right here fit perfectly there, and these are all of my romance books. So looking at my bookshelf like this, it's already slightly organized. Each shelf designates a different genre. The top two shelves are both fantasy. Shelf one are fantasy standalones. Then the second shelf are fantasy series where I own multiple books in the series. The third shelf is all horror. Shelf four is sci-fi and then it splits into historical fiction. The fifth shelf are thrillers and then the rest are kind of like my miscellaneous genres. You have literary fiction, some classics, some non-fiction, some poetry collections. And then the very bottom, you can't really see it in here on the floor, are YA books. Before we get into the rest of the video, I wanna take a quick moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video, which is Peak. As you guys know, I I recently moved and that was very stressful and really started to take a toll on my skin. It's been more dehydrated and getting more breakouts, but I've been loving Peaks Radiant Skin Duo. Ever since I started using it, my skin has been feeling more hydrated and it's really brought it back to life. Adding this duo to your routine will help brighten, firm, and deeply hydrate your skin. The BT Fountain makes my skin feel so hydrated, but my favorite from the duo 
duo is the Sun Goddess Matcha. It helps clear up my skin with antioxidants that work to detoxify your skin from within. The matcha is quadruple toxin screened for purity and the BT fountain is made with the highest quality ingredients. It is vegan with no added sugars, preservatives, or artificial ingredients. And with zero prep, the duo is so easy to add into your morning routine. I love the matcha on its own, but lately I've really been liking making a matcha latte when I want something a little bit more decadent. And right now you can get 15% off plus free shipping for life on Peaks Radiant Skin Duo by using the link in my description. And once again, thank you to Peak for sponsoring this video. Okay, so starting with this fantasy shelf on the top of fantasy standalones slash series where I only own one book, I'm gonna go through quickly and pull out all of the books that I've already read and we'll split them off like that first between books I've read and books that I haven't read, and then I'll go in and even organize them further. <laughs> All right, so now the way that it's organized, we have cozy fantasy, some historical fantasy, going into like, lyrical fairy tale retellings this little section here i honestly have no idea what this is <laughs> these are random ones that i couldn't fit and then some extra ones some short story collections and now i have all this room for the books that i've read Moving on to the horror shelf, again, I'm going to take out all of the ones that I've already read and split them up between books I've read and books still on my TBR. Wow, I've actually read a lot more of my horror books than I thought I have. All of these stacks are all the ones that I've already read. I'm gonna go in and organize the books still on my TBR. I decided to organize by height because there's not that many of them. So then for the horror that I've read, I'm going to organize it by type of horror. Okay, the next shelf that we are organizing is the sci-fi shelf, which also turns into historical fiction. So since I have a smaller section of historical fiction, I'm gonna organize this first. And what I like to do with my historical fiction is organize it by time period that the books take place in. So I do have my phone here so I can look up what uh, time period some of these books take place in. But I believe The Song of Achilles and The Silence of the Girls come first. These two books I do think kind of overlap a little bit. Let's take these out right here. These all take place in the 1900s, as well as these two. Outlander, I guess would be next since that is the 1700s. So many of these other ones take place in like the Victorian time period and I don't know like 100% where in that timeline so i'm just gonna kind of guess but they could be a little bit off this one's 1907 which would be like directly after the victorian era this one is 1940s and this one is 1950s seven husbands of evelyn hugo takes place over a long period of time but it does start in the 50s these two books also take place over different periods of time this one is the late 50s and this one is the 60s then we have Daisy Jones, which is obviously the 70s. And this one takes place over the course of World Wars 1 and 2. So I'm just going to put this in between those two books right there. Now to organize the sci-fi, I don't think I'm going to do this one by what I've read and haven't read. And instead, I'm going to organize these by sci-fi subgenres. So this deck here, I've got some sort of weird speculative stuff that doesn't really fit into other spots. Then we have like space opera, space travel, some 
sci-fi thrillers that go into clones and robots, any type of like human replica. Then that goes into time travel. Wait, actually this book should move. Then like alternate history into some superheroes and then dystopian sci-fi. For my thrillers from Black Iris down, these are all of the ones that I've read. This stack right here are my favorites. Then we have my thriller TBR. This little section right here are books that just didn't really fit either into other genres or just on shelves they didn't fit. So I kind of just put them there. We have some classics, some nonfiction, and then some book of the month books that I haven't read yet. And that is this whole shelf organized. I think it looks so good now. Now I'm gonna sort of decorate the room just a little bit, not like fully decorate it, but I have a rug that I need to put under the desk. Loki, do you like the rug choice? I like this rug. I have a few other ones I could, tr I could try. I think I like how this looks. I just need to center it a little bit. That rug looks good. Loki, you like it? I think it looks cute. So that is going to be the end of this first part of making my home library office. I haven't organized this shelf fully because one, they don't completely fit on this bookshelf and once I get my new bookshelf when I get back from my vacation. A lot of these books are gonna move over there, so I'd rather not spend energy trying to organize this when it's not gonna stay there. So I guess the next part will be when I get this bookshelf and once I'm ready to do some more decorating in here. And I have curtains to put up, so stay tuned for the next part. I hope you guys liked this video. Thank you for watching, bye.